Los Angeles, AP, Mitchell Ryan, who played a villainous general in the first Lethal Weapon movie, a ruthless businessman on TV's Santa Barbara and had character roles on the soap opera Dark Shadows and the 1990s sitcom Donna and Fred, died Friday. He was 88. Ryan died of congestive heart failure at his Los Angeles home, his stepdaughter, Denise Free, told The Hollywood Reporter. Rugged, granite-jawed and sporting a sleek mane of hair, Ryan was instantly recognizable on TV and the big screen. His career spanned more than a half century, beginning with an uncredited role in the 1958 Robert Mitchum film Thunder Road. He was a general turned heroin smuggler in Lethal Weapon, police officer in Magnum Force and Electric Light and Blue, and the conniving, murderous Las Vegas businessman Anthony Tunnel in the nighttime TV soap opera Santa Barbara. In the 1990s, he had a long running role as Brad's wealthy, eccentric, and boozy father on Donna and Greg. Ryan played Brooke Devlin on the cold 1960s soap opera Dark Shadows for one season but he was fired because of his alcoholism. Ryan acknowledged his drinking issues in his 2021 autobiography, Fall of the Sparrow. I'm blessed that, 30 years of drunk. I've managed to live a working actor's life to be in this, and I've lived a great deal of real life while I was at it, he wrote. Sober for the next 30 years, I'm told that I've come out of it all a good and useful human being. Ryan had roles on many TV shows and in movies ranging from High Plains Drifter with Clint Eastwood to Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. He also performed in the theater, including Broadway appearances in Wait Until Dark, Medea and The Price. He was a great gift in my life, Kathleen Lee Scott, who appeared with him in Dark Shadows, said in a Facebook post. I cherish my warm memories of his beautiful soul. I'm heartbroken, 